is my little fireplace on the deck. Looks like a big snow cone right now. That's above my boot. Oh. This is. That's my porch. Right there. It's probably hard to tell, but how much snow there is. I have to go get the shovel in the back. Oh, my fingers are already frozen. All I had to do was keep on shoveling and now I'm getting warmed up. I always say if we're gonna get snow, let's get enough to shut down the city. And this seems like everything's shut down. I love it. The roads are pretty clear. I saw in the middle of the night though that there were people that were, it was about three in the morning, they were stuck going down the road. There was a line of cars. The front one couldn't move for some reason. It was probably icy underneath because they had put salt and then the snow just kept coming down. So they kept trying to back up and go forward and they just didn't get very far. But it's so pretty out here. It's Sunday night. Well, Sunday at five o'clock in, in the evening. I finally have made it outside to play with Ricky. We're gonna build something out of snow. But uh, yeah, on, I think it was Monday that we had the snowstorm and I was shoveling snow for only about a minute. I'll show you a clip of it. And you can tell I pulled my back out. I stood up and I held my back. I could barely breathe for three days. And then yesterday and today started to feel a little bit better, but I really pulled my back out bad. The worst I've ever done. So I'm outside now. Took a Tylenol, coming out with Ricky. And Ricky's up in the tree. This is what he wants to do. And there he is. Is this your favorite tree, you said? Yep, favorite. Favorite. It's the best. Climbing trees in the wintertime. You can't really go much higher. Because well, it's a small tree. But at least you were able to get up in this tree. Yeah, this is a, this is, a big is it cold up there? Yeah. No. <laughs> I She could see it better and she 
loved it and couldn't stop. So she finished it. I told her I would order her some more and she just got them yesterday and was so excited about it. I'll show you a picture. I, I ordered her a puppy and a kitten. My mom loved the new diamond paintings. Other than that, what else happened this week? My sister Carol drove to Florida, so she's not around right now. Brother John is still healing his elbow. I was thinking about, because you said you were, you've were you been in so much pain. So have I. Uh, the pain I was in, I've been having a lot of pain in my right leg because I dropped a grocery cart. Oh basket. my goodness. Yes, I was pulling up to pick up Angelique at the grocery store and she and Ricky are standing there at the grocery cart and she's not, some lady tells her, right, to go? Well, no, yeah, she told me to go. I was on the phone with my mom. I think that's why I dropped it. You dropped it because you were going over a curb. Not yeah, a but I was on the phone with you two not at the paid. same time. Right, not paid. I was only, I only had one hand on the cart and I went over the curb and it tipped over and all her oranges and tomatoes went rolling all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> and so many people were so nice. They were, they were there helping to gather up all the oranges. No, but the cart, oh my God, it hit my leg so hard. It hurt so bad. And there's a huge bump, like right away, there was a bump on my leg. And it hurts, but it's gotten a little bit better. better. <laughs> but I, I thought it was so funny in the moment. Little Ricky told me he was just standing there acting like he wasn't there or something. Yeah, he, was saying? he was pretending that he wasn't part of the, of the commotion of the family. <laughs> there was celery rolling on oh, like Yeah, and my mom, she pulls up. And she's just sitting there watching. <laughs> I'm like, come on, well, come you, help me. There were so many other people helping you. I didn't think they needed me. I, did, I only saw that one lady, but I wasn't paying attention to anyone. I, I just, uh, I don't know. I wasn't embarrassed or anything. I thought that was like, wow. That was, that was an event. I just laugh about it every time I think about it. Oh my God. But that's really, a proven sign of what charity was because people that stopped and like that's being so charitable to somebody and if you heard the crash like if you heard it fall I didn't I don't think you did but um, it was so loud like but, but to get everybody to turn their heads that was a big crash but just to talk about charity a little bit it <laughs> charity comes in more ways than just giving money charity can be helping somebody when something like that happens some charity can be shoveling somebody snow for them because a lot of people may not have the money to be able to help somebody out financially but they can help them out with their time so you can give time as charity be charitable in how you speak about somebody if you know that somebody has any transgressions or personality traits that are not good a way of being charitable is not to speak about it to anybody faith hope and charity but the greatest of those is charity and so an example of charity, he was so excited. He gave me a quote for the price. He went and bought all the wood. He stained it all and he built me a 10 by 10 porch. So this is the porch that he made me. And this is the person that somebody told me was a mean old man that turned out to be the best neighbor ever. And he even put a pipe on the side of the porch so that I could put my umbrella in it. These are the steps that I requested because I wanted to sit on them in the summertime and I love them. And this is the, the porch. And there's a little door under here that he made for storage. We've had a, so this is the porch we've had a, a lot of really nice get togethers on. It's just a perfect size for the amount of people or the amount of kids that usually come over. And it's not just to me that he is so charitable. He has a snowblower. He snow blows the snow off of all of the houses around him. He goes all the way down the block and back. 
that my neighbor across the street used his snowblower and he did this path all the way down the block and all the way to the other end. <laughs> it was nice of him. He, he actually did the middle of the island. He does their everybody's driveways. I also have another little story about somebody. We were sitting and having coffee and off in the distance, we saw a man and lady digging in the garbage and they were taking out beer cans or pop cans or whatever. They're 10 cents for each can when you turn them in. So this person that is so scrimpy with their money was watching and he pulled out his wallet and he says, here, go give this to these people. And over and gave the $20 bill to the people and they were so grateful. And they yelled, God bless you and just thanked us and was just so grateful for this little bit of money that we gave them. Actually, when I looked over at the person that gave them the money, he had tears in his eyes. This, he says it felt really good to give them that money. And it just reminded me of Scrooge, of the, of the movie Scrooge, or It's a Wonderful Life. And I don't know if he's ever given any money to anybody ever since, but that was the one time and it did have an effect on him. And I so, so anyways, that's my little spiel on charity. Yeah, faith, hope, and charity. And the greatest of these is charity because